This video is on partial quotients. Partial quotients is a neat way to do division. Let's pretend we had 96 jelly beans, and we're going to divide them into five equal groups. Well, if you're actually going to distribute the 96 jelly beans into five equal groups, you wouldn't want to give them out one at a time. You want to give them out in a much larger portion. In fact, if I was doing this, I'd probably hand out 10 jelly beans at a time to each person. Well, if there's 10 jelly beans in each group, and I'm handing them out to five groups, I'd be handing out 50 jelly beans total. So already, I got my group of 96 down to 46 jelly beans, and each person right now has 10 jelly beans. So now, I need to hand out more jelly beans. If I have 46 jelly beans, and I have five groups, I could hand them out in maybe groups of eight. Because if I handed out eight jelly beans to five people, I'd hand out a total of 40 jelly beans. Now we only have six left on the table. And each person now has eight more jelly beans. Now we have a much smaller division problem. We only have six jelly beans left in five groups. Well, if I handed each person one jelly bean to five different people, I had a total of five jelly beans. We don't have one jelly bean left, and everybody just received one more jelly bean. Well, we're now done with our division problem. We can just add up the yellow highlighted numbers, and 10 plus 8 is 18, plus one more is 19. So each person got 19 total jelly beans, and we have that one down here on the bottom remaining. So we have a remainder of one. This is a way to do partial quotients when doing division. Realize you can hand them out in any certain matter you want, as long as you're giving the same number to each person. Thank you for watching my video on partial quotients.